नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वी हैव टू फाइंड द डोमेन नाउ वेन एवर देर इज एनी थिंग विथ रूट सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी वेदर दिस इज इन द न्यूमिनेटर और द डिनोमिनेटर इफ इट इज इन द न्यूमिनेटर यू कैन हैव अ जीरो हेयर एंड यू कैन हैव अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू बट यू कैनॉट हैव अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू दैट मीन्स एनी थिंग विच इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो इज एक्सेप्टेबल हियर वी हैव एक्स माइनस टू इन साइड अ रूट सो एक्स माइनस टू शुड बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज दिस इज इन द न्यूमिनेटर ओनली नाउ दिस एक्स माइनस टू ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो इज वाई बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट वॉन्ट एनी वैल्यू हेयर नेगेटिव वैल्यू इफ द नेगेटिव वैल्यू इज कमिंग दिस एफ एक्स विच इज वेटिंग फॉर अ नंबर विच इज वेटिंग फॉर अ रियल नंबर इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट द रियल नंबर वाई बिकॉज दिस माइनस अंडर रूट माइनस विल बी एन इमेजिनरी नंबर वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट इन कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर राइट नाउ वी जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी डोंट रिक्वायर अ नेगेटिव दैट विल मेक द थिंग्स डिफिकल्ट एंड दिस विल बी इन डिटर्मिनेट वी कैनॉट डिफाइन इट सो देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस अंडर रूट हैविंग अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू बट इट कैन हैव अ जीरो दैट इज वाई वी हैव इक्वल साइन एंड देन वी हैव अ ग्रेटर देन साइन दैट इज इट कैन बी जीरो इट कैन बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो इट दिस इज बोथ सो वट यू गेट एक्स शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो टू सो वेन यू हैव एक्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू दैट मीन्स इफ आई मेक अ नंबर लाइन दिस इज जीरो दिस इज वन दिस इज टू सो एनी थिंग विच इज ग्रेटर देन टू इज एक्सेप्टेबल इट गोज अप टू इन्फिनिटी सो वॉट विल बी द डोमेन डोमेन विल बी फ्रॉम टू to infinity and if you see this 2 is inclusive because we have a equal sign so you will make a you will put a square bracket but in finite we don't know the number it can go to up to anywhere that is why we put a round sign this is a round bracket now coming to the second situation here we just have to see the root now the root is in the denominator in the denominator we cannot have in the in the root we cannot have a negative value that is acceptable right negative value is not this is this has to be accepted that negative value cannot be there first of all then we cannot have a zero which we were able to provide here or accept here zero is not allowed why because this under root zero will be zero and 1 by 0 can you can you even imagine something divided by zero it is undefined it is indeterminate so in domain what we do we find all the values in the real numbers which are not providing a proper solution here so we just ignore that we just take it off from the real number and that is the domain so we are going to take so this is the domain only when this is this function is defined here under root in the denominator we can't have zero though we were having zero here but we cannot have a zero here we can have we cannot have a minus number also so this number inside this under root can only be positive so x square minus 1 which is the denominator value under the root can only be greater than 0 there cannot be an equal sign here so what do we get how do we solve this kind of uh, quadratic equation we make it one square x square minus 1 square is what a square minus b is, is what x minus 1 x plus 1 now how to solve this there are four cases there are four cases that can be made but we, i'll i'll give you a better idea or better solution or you can say a short solution see just put these two equal to 0 x minus 1 equal to 0 and x plus 1 equal to 0 what do you get x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 so this is 1 and this is minus 1 so this is minus 1 and this is 1 so you have three partitions here this side is greater than this side is greater than this side is less than now what is this sign greater than so you will only talk about this region so minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 and 1 is the only region you are going to talk about right that means x when it is 1 x when it is minus 1 and then this is minus 1 it is going to give you from here to here that is infinite minus infinite from here to here it is going to give you the plus infinite one to infinite so this is greater sign this is greater sign we have to use the greater sign so we are not considering this minus 1 to 1 we will not consider it so what is this one minus infinite to minus 1 and see minus 1 is not included because there is no equal sign so you cannot have a square bracket here you have to put a round bracket minus infinity infinity by the way we don't know so we'll always put this round sign here this is 1 to infinity 1 is not acceptable it is not equal to so one again we'll put a 
un this round bracket and infinity we don't know so we'll always put a round sign round, round bracket and since these these two are the situation how to combine them make a union just put this one this one and make a union so this is the domain this is the domain so these are the value which are acceptable here otherwise all those values which are not acceptable you cannot have it so these are the acceptable values so you cannot have any value between these two including minus one and one under root 9 minus x square so now this is the numerator and say this is uh, the, the scenario this is the numerator and 9 minus x square is inside the root so 9 minus x square should be first of all greater than 0 we cannot have a negative value here but since we can have a 0 also here because under root 0 is 0 and it is defined a 0 is a real number so we can have a equal to sign also so 9 minus x square is greater than equal to 0 how to solve this First of all, let us make it a proper quad quadratic. So my, just multiply minus 1 here. Just multiply minus 1 here. So take a minus sign from here, minus 1, and take a minus sign here. 6 square minus 9, it will be. Now, minus minus becomes plus, but as soon as you multiply by minus, the property of inequality says that you have to change the sign. When you multiply minus 1 on both the sides, or any value with negative sign on both the sides, you have to change the inequality. So this minus minus goes, but the inequality changes. X square minus 9 now becomes less than or equal to 0 because 0 minus 1 is 0 into minus 1 is 0. So x square minus 9, how, how can we write it? X square minus 3 square less than or equal to 0. This is x minus 3, x plus 3. You know, a square minus b squared is a plus b, a minus b, less than or equal to 0. I told you how to solve it. Just put this equal to 0, so you get x equal to 3. Put x plus 3 equal to 0, you get x, x equal to minus 3. Now, just put it on the number line. That is, this is 0, this is minus 3, this is plus 3. Okay, so now these you get 3 partition. This is greater than, this is greater than, this is less than. Now, if you see here, this is a less than sign and you have an equality also. So you will only consider this region. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable, uh, acceptable because this is less than sign. And we are dealing with the less than sign. So minus 3 and 3. Only in, in between this will be. And because it is equality. So we have to consider minus 3 and 3 also. So we put a square bracket. Because minus 3 and 3 are also included. So the domain of this function will be minus 3 and 3. Coming here. Now we have a numerator also under root. And denominator also under root. So this numerator as I said x minus 2 can be greater than or equal to 0 because we can have a 0 here we can have a negative we can we can have a positive value here we just can't have a negative number in this case as i already told you it is in, in the denominator we can't have a 0 we can have a positive value we can't have a 0 we can't have a negative number so how do we do it 3 minus x should be greater than 0 0 we cannot have a equal to sign so x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 gives you what x is greater than 2 equal to 2 this gives you x should be this uh, x should be less than 3 okay just take this here x should be less than 3 now x is less than 3 x is greater than or equal to 2 how how you're going to solve it if you're not able to you know guess what we are going to do just put this on the number line this is 0 this is 2 1 2 this is 3 so it is saying x is greater than or equal to 2 so this is including and now all these values this is saying x should be greater x should be less than 3 so what is the common portion between these two? Two and three. But two, two is inclusive. So two we put we put a square sign. Put a put a square bracket. Three is non-inclusive. It is less than no equality sign. So you put a three and make a round bracket. 